guys, Andrew from Senior Apps here. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a pop-up view controller using Swift that's simple to make and easy to use. So to make a pop-up view in Xcode, I've created a new single view project here and we're just in our storyboard. So on the first default view controller here, just search for a button from the object library and then we'll rename that to show. This button's going to show the pop-up view to the user. And to the right of that view controller, we're going to add another view controller. And this view controller is going to contain our pop-up view contents. Once you've dragged that onto the storyboard, in the right-hand side, we need to give it a storyboard identity. And we're going to name that SB pop-up ID and this is going to be used to identify this particular storyboard view controller here so we can make it pop up as a view later on. Now in this view controller search for a view in the object library it's usually down towards the bottom gonna drag and drop that here with that selected in the top right hand side we're going to change the background to a red color just so we can see it against the white background easier make that a bit bigger drag it into the middle of our view controller you'll see the blue lines come up once you've found the middle and then just down the bottom here going to click this button to add some new constraints to make the width and height be consistent and then click on the button next to it the align button and check horizontally and vertically in container so this makes it no matter what device you're viewing it on this will always appear in the middle of the screen once you've done that just add a button to that view name it close and we'll just add a label And we'll name the label hello. And we'll just change the label color to white. And the button. Let's change the text color to white also. So this top thing here is a label. And this is a button to close the pop-up that we're going to display. Now that we've got the storyboard set up. There's one more step to do. We need to go file. A new file need to create a Coca touch class and we need to make a pop-up view controller class so name that pop-up view controller go next create once we've done that this class here will be the code for our pop-up view controller view so we need to go back to our storyboard and for that pop-up view we just created just click on it and in the top left here, under the Identity Inspector, for Custom Class, we need to change that from UI View Controller to Pop-Up View Controller. And that will allow our Pop-Up View Controller Swift code to control this view. So to show this pop-up, what we're going to do on this View Controller here with the Show button, just select it. In the top right, click on the Assistant Editor. And that will split the view up and you'll see your original view controller code on the right. Once you see that, holding the control key, drag and drop the show button. And connect it up as an action. And we're going to name it show pop up. Go connect and you'll see this IB action pop up in your code here. So close the assistant editor down in the top right then select the view controller on the left and now we're going to code it so it shows our pop-up view so to do that we'll do let pop over vc for view controller equals ui storyboard then in the story we'll do brackets name will be main because our default storyboard in the left is called main.storyboard 
bundle is nil. Then we'll do dot instantiate with view controller with identifier and the string will be the SB pop-up ID that we first set up in the storyboard. And we'll do as exclamation mark pop-up view controller for that pop-up view controller Swift class we made. So I'm just going to go back to our main storyboard into our pop-up view control. I'm going to select that, make sure our storyboard ID here, SB pop-up ID is the same as this one in the code here. So I'll just paste it and yep, that's exactly the same. So that's good. So now that we've done the first line, we do self dot add child view controller pop over VC. So this is adding the view controller for our pop-up view to our current view controller. So that's going to display that in place of our current view. We need to do a few more setup steps with that to make it appear correctly. So to do that, we'll do pop over VC dot view dot frame equals self dot view dot frame. Then I'll do self dot view dot add sub view. The sub view will be pop over VC. And what final line is pop over VC dot did move to parent view controller, then self. And in this add sub view, just add dot view to the end of pop over VC. So let's run our app on an iPhone 6S and see what happens. Okay, so our app's running now. Let's tap on show. And we can see our view pops up with the hello and close button and label, which will move a bit after. So what I'll do now is show you how to close it, and make it look like more of a pop-up view. So just stop the app. Go back to our main.storyboard and this view in the middle, we'll just move the hello label to the left and the close label to the left a bit. And what that's going to do is in the view, it's now inside the view before it was outside. So now if we center it in the view, it will actually appear in the middle. So make sure that the close and hello label is under this view here on the left side. So with the close button, once again, we'll click on the assistant editor in the top right, holding the control key and drag that here. We're going to create an action. And we're going to name it close pop-up. We'll connect that up, close that down, and now go to our pop-up view controller. And in the close pop-up, to close it down, we simply need to add itself dot view dot remove from super view. One more thing we'll also do in the view did load, add self dot view dot background color equals UI color dot black color dot color with alpha component. And we're going to do 0.8. And now we'll run our app and what you'll see is that the pop-up view is now transparent, the background color, so we can actually see the show button when it pops up. So let's click on show. We can see here our pop-up view showing, but now we can actually see that show very vaguely in the background. So it looks more like a pop-up and see our hello label. And if we tap the close button, it closes that down. So show, shows it, close, we'll close it. So that's how to make a simple pop-up view. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to also animate it. So it looks a bit more nicer when it's appearing and disappearing. So I've got some code here. So in the pop-up view controller, I'll just paste it. I've got this function show animate and remove animate. 
So if you'd like to add it, you can either pause the video or download the source code to get this show and remove animate. So what this is basically doing is the show animate will make the view a bit more bigger at first and then it will animate the view to appear in and scale down so it will start big and go smaller when the view appears. Now remove animate, what it does is that it makes the view go from smaller to bigger as if it's exiting the screen and then once the animation's finished it will remove it from the view here. So to make these work, in the view did load, you will simply add self.showAnimate and in a close pop-up, we'll comment out for remove from super view, we'll add self.removeAnimate. Now let's run that and see our animations in action. So if we tap show, we've got a nice animation, close, it animates out. So now it looks a lot more like a pop-up and since it's transparent we can see the background and it looks quite nice so you can download the full source code for this tutorial below thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave any feedback below also check out our website facebook and twitter by clicking or tapping any of the buttons on screen